Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I found this really kind of glowy summer glam makeup look and this kind of, you could wear it everyday to be honest, but there was quite a few products involved so uh, and so yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, make sure you just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by taking my L'Oreal Paris Bonjour Nudista. Um, this is like a awakening skin tint and mine is in the shade medium dark and then I'm also going to mix it with my Kiko um, less is better fluid highlighter and mine is in the shade 02 mild golden sun so I'm going to mix these two together and apply them to my face so I'm literally just going to mix those together apply it to my face and then I'm also going to I'm just going to apply it with a foundation brush and I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender I just like doing this instead of using my hands foundation today I'm going to take my EX1 Invisiwear liquid foundation in the shade um, 8 so um, and I'm also going to mix this with my Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation in Barley Vanilla 20 and the reason I'm mixing this one is just because the EX1 is a little bit dark for me right now just because I haven't fake tanned and my natural tan is wearing off. <laughs> Concealer on any blemishes. I'm just going to take my Revolution Conceal and Define and just pop that on anywhere that's like either red or any blemishes. So I've just got one up here and a couple elsewhere. For under my eyes, I'm going to take the um, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealers. I'm first going to take the shade Extra Fair and just pop that on the very inner corner where I have some dark circles because this is um, more pink undertoned. I'm going to take the shade Lemon One, which is more of a yellow um, undertone concealer, and I'm just going to take this elsewhere under my eyes. I'm going to bake under my eyes and I do this um, just because the, this makeup look that I'm doing right now is the makeup look that I wore on holiday quite a lot and obviously I wanted my face to like, my face, I wanted my makeup to like stay on all throughout the night. So I did bake under my eyes and I'm going to take my Revolution Luxury Powder in banana. So it is a banana powder. I only do this very slightly because I do tend to get quite dry under eyes um, and I don't want to dry them out even more so I only do it slightly. And then I also take it on my chin as well because makeup tends to rub off that on me as well. So next I'm going to take my sleek highlighting palette in Cleopatra's Kiss and I'm going to take this gold shade here and I'm just going to pop that on my um, highest points of my face basically. Honestly this highlighting palette is so nice, like literally look at that. in my brows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and usually, usually I use my NYX Professional Makeup 
micro brow pencil in espresso because I love filling my eyebrows in with this eyebrow pencil, it's so good. But mine has run out and I haven't been able to get a new one yet. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use my pomade today. Also guys, I completely forgot to say this, as you're watching this video, I probably would have said it in the intro actually, as you're watching this video, I hit 400 subscribers yesterday, so on Sunday, the 19th of August, and that was my goal for the end of 2018, so I think it's so crazy that um, we've hit that now, and it's only August, like, you guys are just great, honestly, and it actually shocks me that there's 400 of you now on my channel, and I know to some of you that might not seem like a lot, but it is to me, so... And then what, whatever was left from that banana powder that I used to bake, I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this. And I'm also going to brush away that bake. I really love about the sleek palette is that even after I've powdered over my cheekbones the glow is still there so next I'm gonna bronze with my Primark PS my perfect color mattifying powder in the shade caramel and I use this just because it's actually a really nice bronzer and you guys have seen me use this a ton before but it is literally just my all-time favorite bronzer right now So just going to take a little bit, just under my chin and jawline and the tip and sides of my nose because I'm not going to be contouring my nose or anything, I just want to um, add a bit of colour there. So for blush, I've usually been taking Sleek's um, Rose Gold Blush because I absolutely love that one, but you guys have seen me use that a million times and I have loads of other blushes that I don't really tend to share with you guys. So today I'm going to use my MAC blush in Dolly Mix, it's a really bright pink so, and it's also shimmery so you really don't need a lot of this. It is currently summer in England and England's summer time has been very hot to say the least and I also have a massive softbox light literally right here so I am melting guys, please feel my pain right now. So for eyeshadow I'm going to take my Violet Boss Holy Grail Pro Palette and I'm just going to take the shade to start with, um, Hashtag which is this orange up here. I'm just going to pop that in my crease as kind of a transition and I'm also going to mix it with the shade Transition which is just next to it. I'm not doing anything too crazy on the eyes, just a little bronzed glowy look. And you guys did vote for this makeup look on my Instagram so if you're not following my Instagram I will leave it linked down below and I'll also pop it on screen somewhere for you and also if you guys are really into makeup and like these makeup tutorials I do have a makeup Instagram page which um, I'll pop on the screen over here or something and I am posting on that a lot more recently so next I'm going to take the shade Toffee which is this really nice um, shimmery gold and I'm going to pop that just on the just on my eyelid also I'm trying out some new backgrounds I don't know if you guys could tell but if you like this background give the video a thumbs up because I think this is my favourite out of the ones that I've tried so far I'm going to 
gonna take the shade Are You Kidding Me and I'm gonna mix it with brownie points down here. Pop that on like the outer V and blend it into the crease. In my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to take the shade Crystal, which is this bright, um, shimmery white. And I'm just going to pop that on the very inner corner, kind of blending it into the gold bit, and on the brow bone. So going back to my sleek um, highlighter palette, I'm going to take this gold up here. And I absolutely love this highlighter. I'm just going to pop that everywhere that I highlight pretty much. So cheekbones. Like literally guys, do you see that? So pretty. that glow oh, so pretty so next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara so I'm going to take the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and like I said I'm not going to be applying lashes just because they do irritate my eyes and I don't really wear them on an everyday basis. So I'm going to be applying two coats of this to my top and bottom lashes. naturally really long eyelashes um, so I don't really tend to need to put eyelashes on because whenever I do people always think that it's just my lashes and you literally can't tell the difference anyway so unless they're like really extreme which I wouldn't wear during the day so for lips I'm going to take of course Max Velvet Teddy if you guys have any um, lipstick recommendations um, let me know down below because I absolutely love this one, but at the moment I think it's a little bit kind of too pink. So I want to make a bit more like nude orangey kind of shade, but not like orange, do you know what I mean? I did also put, put um, lip balm on before I started this video because I have really dry lips and if I don't do that before I start my makeup then my lipstick goes on horribly. I'm also going to take my um, Revolution um, liquid lipstick in um, lingerie, this is one of their metallic lipsticks and I put it on kind of, kind of like a gloss but I kind of just like dab it on. But because it does dry down matte, I'm going to take, it's like matte metallic, I am going to take my Benefit lip gloss, just a clear lip gloss, and I'm just going to put this on just the centre of my lips because I've been loving glossy lips for the summer. So guys, this is the finished look. So yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I upload new videos every single Friday and I'm uploading a lot more like newer content and kind of kind of better content I'd say. And yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to stay tuned for the next one and make sure you hit that post notification button so you're notified for all my new uploads. And thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next Friday for a brand new video. Bye guys. Only dreaming Only dreaming